I was born into a family that went to church every Sunday. I was baptized on Christmas Eve, was in Sunday school and singing in the church choir from the age of three. As I grew, I also took on leadership roles as an officer in the youth group and as a member of local and regional church committees. Outside of church, in school, I was very active in speech and debate clubs, and I had an after-school job in banking. When I entered college, I was an economics major. In my senior year at Idaho State University, I had already made arrangements to join the bank as an officer trainee upon graduation. During that year, I became more and more aware that I would not feel fulfilled being in banking for the rest of my life. Several folks talked to me about the possibility of becoming employed in the church, and so I went to Isla School of Theology, began my studies in Christian education and music, which was very common for a woman of that era. I hadn't been there very long, though, before I realized that God was calling me to something else, to be a pastor and preacher. When I went home at Thanksgiving break, I talked to my home pastor, Jim Airy, and after he scraped his jaw off the floor, to his credit, he did everything in his power to help me become the pastor and preacher God had called me to be. And so I became a pastor and preacher. I was ordained in the United Methodist Church, served various congregations for 14 years. I took interim ministry training, transferred to the Presbyterian Church USA, and served Presbyterian and United Church of Christ churches for 11 years. Together with my husband, Doug, we took new church development training, and we sought out churches who were seeking to offer God's hospitality to do church in a new way. Some congregations said right up front they didn't want to welcome anyone outside themselves. Most congregations, however, said they wanted to welcome newcomers, but, for example, they might have wanted families with young children, but they had no nursery. They might have said they wanted to welcome outsiders, but during the fellowship time in worship or after church, they would spend time with their family and friends rather than getting to know the newcomers. And there was often not even a greeter at the door. The church that did the best had a nursery and they had visitor parking and they had signs in the church. They had a computer class for children after school and they hosted the local food pantry. And even they failed because they did not offer God's hospitality. They did these things for their own purposes. I have come to believe that active churches do many things well, but they do not do well at offering hospitality to outsiders. We seek those who have had no experience in church, or who have had a bad experience in church, or are simply seeking to be faithful in a different way. We invite you to join us on this journey.